Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at filtering our data table. When it comes to filtering, we have two types. The first is global filtering and the second is column filtering. With global filtering, the filters apply to all columns in the table. For example, if we were to search with the text HA, you'd get back rows where any of the columns contains the string HA. Column filtering, on the other hand, fetches rows where only that particular column will contain the search text. In this video, we will focus only on global filtering. In the next video, we will focus on column filtering. All right, we are going to begin by creating a new file in the components folder called filtering table.js. We're going to copy over the code from basic table and change the component name to filtering table. Now we can proceed to implement the global filtering feature. Let's proceed step by step. For our first step, we are going to create a filter input component for our global filter. So in the components folder, I'm going to create a new file called global filter .js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet RAFC to create a function component. This component is going to receive two props, which we are going to destructure. Filter and set filter. Filter is the value of the text input and set filter is the corresponding setter function. In the JSX, we are going to return a span tag. The text will be search. Let's leave some space. And then the input element. Value is going to be equal to filter or an empty string. And on change, we call the setFilter function passing in the input value. So event setFilter e.target.value. Let's tie up this component with our filtering table component. For our second step, we need to import the use global filter hook from React table. Then pass it into the use table hook after the first argument. From the table instance, we need to destructure two more things. State, which is the table state, and set global filter, which is the function to set the global filter text value. Now the table state contains several properties. For now, we just need the one property. So from state, destructure, global filter. Finally, in the JSX, include the global filter component, passing in the global filter value and set global filter function as props. Begin by wrapping the JSX with React fragment. Then right above the table component, add the global filter component. So this is the input component that we have just created. It receives two props, filter, which is equal to global filter, and set filter, which is equal to set global filter. And that is pretty much it for the code. Let's include filtering table in app.js and head to the browser to test this out. On page load, you can see that above the table header, we have the global filter component. If I type in some text, the rows are filtered down. Only rows that contain the string HARR will be displayed in the table. And the text can be part of any of the columns. So in the first row, HARR is present as part of the first name. And in the second row, 
It's in the last name and the same with the third row as well. You clear the text and all the rows are displayed again. So this is about global filtering with React Table. There is one point to consider about global filtering. For global filtering to work, it requires that your entire data is loaded and the filtering happens on the client side. This is fine if you're fetching a few thousands of rows. However, if you're fetching in hundreds of thousands of records, server-side filtering is probably the way to go. Nevertheless, it's always good to understand client-side filtering. In this case, global filtering. In the next video, let's understand how to filter on only individual columns instead of filtering globally across the table. I'll see you guys in the next one.